Unity software called SN Right Tool as well as the CDC driver for MediaTek devices in addition to the preloader driver. At this stage now we have flashed your device so assume that you have preloader driver perfectly installed. Here's the archive file. I've linked in the description that you can download. Install the CDC driver first according to your computer architecture. It's simple. Now install the SN right tool. I've already installed that, so I will open it. Here's the log window. Select USB VCOM as the COM port. Then select smartphone in the target field. Now click the system config. Here you will only provide IMEI and Wi Fi MAC address as we are going to fix only these two things. If you are operating a dual SIM phone, keep the dual IMEI option selected and don't select same IMEI. Now click on the MDDP button. From the stock ROM folder, the ROM that you have splashed on the phone, choose BPLG file Click on the APDB button and choose APDB file from the same folder. Now click OK. And here just click start button. Here you will enter the IMI and Wi-Fi MAC address. For Wi-Fi address, I just took the one the phone used last time. It could be any MAC address randomly chosen and you can find IMEI of your phone from the retail box pack or by removing the back cover. I have stored them in the text file, you can do it too. Just copy one by one into their relative fields and enter Wi-Fi address without colons. Press OK. Now it's waiting for the phone to be connected in preloader mode. Just make sure the phone is turned off then connect it. When connected, the phone mode will be changed to meta mode for a while and everything should go smooth in a couple of seconds. The phone will be turned off automatically and you will see a success log into log window. You may want to review the log to see if everything was succeeded. Just close it and see what we got on the phone. Disconnect it. Turn it on. It's fast forward. Check on the log screen. The SIM is registered to the network. So far, so good. Now check the IMEI numbers. That's good too. Now test the Wi-Fi MAC address. It should be exactly what we wrote to it 
and it should be permanent. Okay, that's enough.